Hey guys, it's Zach, and welcome back to the shop. I have my protective safety goggles on because today we're playing around with lasers. You want to see how I installed the laser kit for the Axiom CNC? Stick around. Alright, so the first step actually is to run this wire underneath the machine. But before I do that, I'm actually going to take this cover off so I can see down there. There's a track underneath, and I'll bring the camera down there in a second, that you can see where this wire will all run through. So let's go ahead and take the cover off here and get started. So there's actually two different ends here, and you're actually going to want um, this end that doesn't have the green connector on it to, to be fed in first. So that's, this is actually going to be what's connected to the laser in the end. So I'm going to feed this through first, leaving the green block um, running out the backside. Alright, so note that you can actually unclip the sides of this, this chain. I just chose not to, uh, most of it, unless I needed to, so it's up to you. There we go. <laughs> So now that that's hooked up on one side, we're going to go ahead and hook it up on this side using the controller. So unplug it and you'll be able to slide this guy out. There should be a couple screws to take out this panel. So yeah, the wiring is a little bit, um, uh, I guess, intimidating, um, but uh, if you read through the instructions, it's pretty, pretty detailed and exactly what you need to do. Uh, but once you're done wiring, you just close everything back up. I went ahead and closed off this end over here and did some wire management with some wire nuts, wire or not wire nuts, but wire tires, wire ties, excuse me. And uh, we're gonna boot it up for the first time and see if it works. So let's give it a shot. Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, I followed the instructions pretty much to the T, and uh, they're very detailed instructions. Uh, one thing I do want to point out: the the this is it can be extremely dangerous if you're not using the right safety equipment. So it actually comes with these cool little glasses that um, that I wore the whole time while I was using the laser. Um, it's got safety switches. Like this guy here has a switch on the back of it, so if it's not attached, you can't turn on the laser, which is super smart. And they actually give you a waiver if you buy a laser yourself to sign before they even send you a laser because they, they don't want anybody to get hurt using this laser. So Now, I wanted to play around with it a little bit after I got it installed. I, first thing I did was I, you know, of course, did my logo. 
Now I did the dashes around here and there's a little bit of a in, um, inconsistencies here and that's probably the wood. This wood's actually warped. So I figured I would try a different piece of wood, which is this, uh, this one. And I'm actually really impressed on uh, how much detail is in this. And I'll try to get a, uh, a, a really close shot for you so you can see that. But um, I'm really, uh, I'm really liking how this is turning out. And the, the only thing that I kind of, um, I'm gonna have to remember <laughs> is that you, uh, you turn off, um, the, the delay for the spindle. So when you're using the laser, you don't want a delay. And when you are using your spindle um, for, for cutting wood, you're gonna want to uh, put it back up to a four second delay. So that's the only thing you're gonna have to flip back and forth with when you're using the laser. Once everything's hooked up, everything else is fine, um, that's how you do it. Now, um, when it comes down to the settings for this guy, I actually just followed the instructions again. It's basically just an engraved tool that you set for the, uh, with the 45 degree angle with a 75% overlap. And if you want it darker than this, you can, you know, you can do more of an overlap and you can kind of play around with it. You can even do cross hatching if you want and play around with some really cool effects with it. So, but all in all guys, uh, really easy to set up. I hope you like it. And if you got any questions, you can always leave a uh, comment down below. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.